Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and today we are doing a shop update and hey, kind of, wah! <laughs> Man, that's some lag, huh? Yours hasn't even started yet. Not yet. <laughs> that's rough. Hey Leash, how's it going? Kind of getting everything. Hey, Maria. Getting everything situated. We're doing pretty good. I'm having a doozy of a day for no reason other than I'm just falling to pieces. Um, <laughs> but it's been a pretty good day. Still haven't fully adjusted, I think, to the time change. Maybe I'll use that as my excuse. <laughs> so, uh, we're not going to be doing a live stream tomorrow because we are going camping. Um, hey, Glenda, we aren't just for this week. We're streaming on Monday instead of on Tuesday because I figured typically uh, here lately we've been doing a shop update on Monday and then a live stream on Tuesday. And this week, since we're going camping on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I figured we'd just smush them together. Um, hopefully, that'll be all right. <laughs> Leaf says, ugh, my cats, my cats hate the time change. I don't think our cats have noticed. So that's, there's that at least. Hey, Dr. Suzanne, how's it going? Hey, Janine, well, thank you. I don't have any makeup on today. And I'm actually, I had a wicked allergy attack this morning, like, Randy could hear me sneezing nonstop, basically, like, all the way up from the shed until I was in the house, and then I was, like, hunched over the kitchen sink, running cold water over my face and everything, <laughs> so uh, I finally stopped sneezing, but it's been, like, on the edge of having another allergy fit just all day. Oh, thanks, Twisted. I haven't, like, washed it or styled it or anything, so I'm really glad you like it. <laughs> Uh, I'm so excited to go camping, you guys. The weather is actually, if the lie channel uh, proves to be correct, it's actually going to be warmer on this camping trip in November than what it was for the camping trip that we did in early October. Um, and there's still like a couple of leaves left on the trees, so we might get some really pretty uh, fall colors and stuff. So that'll be really nice. I'm hoping. <sighs> What? It's excess already? It is, sort of. Which we are doing, y'all, today's shop update. Like, every Monday we have been doing, well, it was every Friday and now it's every Monday. But we have been doing shop updates with, like, just cabochons. This week's shop update actually has a bunch of jewelry in it. So I figured we could go ahead and get started, maybe here in a minute, whenever I get my head on straight, um, with, like, looking at some of the different jewelry that we have uh, in stock as well as like cabs and things. Lori says, I made a wire up pumpkin from your orange cab. Ah, oh, tomato. My boyfriend called it a tomato. Oh, <laughs> right on though. We actually have a lot more today that um, a lot more cabs that I'm like, I think would look really cool wrapped up in that pumpkin style. Okay, let me fidget a bit with some tripods and see if we can do this in a way that's not too pixelated. Because that's typically the reason why I do the live or our Monday kind of shop update showcase with a premiere is because if we pre record the video, it's not going to be all like pixelated and live stream, you know? Um, but this is what we're doing today, so we're doing that. Ooh, Sparky says, groceries put away, coffee cup full, time for Vaughn. Right on. <laughs> um, hey, Randy, do you think I should try with the braid in the background first? Yeah. Okay. I got kind of a, there's only like a few dirty spots on the table. It's only a little stuffed up. Okay, let's get the, uh, go around. Do, 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 do. Steve says, have you been able to look at the emails? 
at all. I've sent a couple, possibly. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. If y'all, if if it's been like a week and you haven't heard from me, please send a new email. Um, I've been married up to my ears in a couple of different things. Uh, so sorry. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? Okay. Do you guys want to start with jewelry or with cabs? Now, again, up on the website, it's all all listed uh, for sale as the price it's at. First come, first serve sort of stuff. Um, so, ah, Leaf says jewelry. Okay, so we'll start with the jewelry. Uh, Jamie, I'm doing pretty good. Better all the time. So, uh, on the website, the prices are the same as what's tagged here on the bracelets, and we can adjust all of our bracelets to fit however you want. So, if you purchase it on the website, um, during the checkout process, they just have a spot where you can, like, leave a note, and, uh, you can leave a note and be like, hey, you know, resize B16 to fit a 9-inch wrist or a 6.5 wrist, and we'll do our best to get that adjusted to fit you. And we have some... Right on, Jamie. She's glad to hear trying to be productive today. Me too. And I don't know. I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. And I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Just snarling at everything. So I feel a lot better doing work though. Do, 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 do. But yeah, you can kind of see. Yeah, the Vaughn Shopping Network. A little bit. Tis the season to shamelessly self-promote and hope that I can hustle <laughs> some business. <laughs> So we have a really nice purple. This is how the Byzantine stretches, nice and stretchy. And if you guys are looking at the website and want to see any in particular, just holler at me and I'll keep an eye out for it. I really like these ones with the square cut rings. Or are you picking them as they sell? Mm -hmm. No! Well, here, baby, can I ask you if we can wait? That way I can show off the shine and stuff. Right. That way people can see what they missed. <laughs> Thank you. Randy's being so productive and on top of it, and I'm just like, no, stop being productive. <laughs> but we have these guys as well, and all of these stretchy bracelets were actually woven by the very patient Randy. <laughs> super duper patient. We also have our super durable leather bracelets that are just $10. And we have that one, as well as the You Can't Take the Sky From Me. Uh, for all those brown coats out there, if there's any Firefly, Firefly fans that are watching. <laughs> this is the season to shop Vaughn. Right on, Jamie. I'll support this movement. And some of these guys were woven uh, during live streams as well. Like I don't know if y'all remember this one from one of our, I think, exclusive streams. Well, these really pretty, like, Tuscan grape and olive green beads. Which I think are just so pretty. So pretty. When you put the chain mill around your stones, do you use half or full Persian? Star, I use half Persian. Um, I can actually show you an example. This one here is a full, oops, full Persian six in one. Which means that inside each one ring, there's six others. And you can see it makes a really pretty... Um, like kind of a rope chain. It's definitely very round. Uh, I don't think I do, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> oh, does this one not have? Okay. Whereas this one here, whoops. Oh, I'm just going to keep doing that, aren't I? Is a half Persian. And you can see, if it's not super pixelated, how it has this kind of, let's just flip it inside out. It has this kind of trough that it makes on like the flatter of the two sides. And so whenever you have that curved, it actually kind of hugs the front and back of the stone. And there are ways that you can, um, you know, add more rings to it to have it sandwich a little bit tighter, but that takes a very thin stone. Ah, uh, right on, Star. <laughs> Yeah, I really like these ones that Randy had made with those square rings. They're so sharp looking. Then we only have two left of the Byzantine Wave bracelets. 
one with sodalite and one with a really pretty kind of matte finish black glass. Sorry guys, it, okay. Gosh, that's, <laughs> okay. Let me type for just a sec. Y'all may need to refresh. There we go. But yeah, and then a couple more of these Mobius flowers that we had done a tutorial on. And again, all of these can be shortened or extended to fit however you might like. But um, we won't be able to guarantee international delivery by Christmas time whenever you order, like, into December. So now would actually be the best time, I think, for all y'all international folks to, um, to kind of get some shopping in. Okay, so here we have, these are Genuine Quartz Crystal, wrapped in non-tarnish antique copper para wire and these are like 12 or 15 millimeter beads they are quite large and all of our pendants do come with their chains we have one here that's red agate in one of our elf star patterns we have a genuine tiger's eye which is always so beautiful tiger's eye is one of my favorite stones too y'all for just working with it's you almost have to do nothing at all to just be like, it's so pretty on its own. And then we have a carnelian here, which is a really beautiful, deep, kind of burnt orange. And then we have a dyed howlite, five point elf star. Now it has a really pretty turquoise color, but that is just color enhanced howlite. Do, 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 do. Hey, Zephyrus. Speaking of tiger's eye being pretty on its own, I really love this one. Which, like most things when worn backwards, is reversible. But just the natural flash and chatoyance of the stone is so pretty. And all of our chains are around um, 18 or 19 inches at their shortest, and then they go up to like 22 to 24 inches. But again, we can shorten or extend that for you. Here we have one of our lampwork glass mushrooms, which I think are a lot of fun, very pretty. And then this one is a big boy. <laughs> and I'm trying to work on getting a better, more mushroomy shape, and I was really pleased with how this one came out. But yeah, we've had requests from a lot of people who are like, uh, can't make it to your live auctions. It exceeds my budget, like, immediately. <laughs> like, because some of these, y'all, we'll, like, we posted some earrings and stuff for, like, five bucks. And y'all just, like, outbid them, like, immediately. Um, so we will be posting a lot of our $5 earrings and stuff up to the website. Well, they, they are already posted. So then we have this guy, which is one of the solid pieces, which I really like. Love those dots. Dog fur is always free. And then on to our last tray of jewelry for today's shop update. This is where we get into all of the earrings. What is the spiral on P27? Um, it is just twisted wire. Making a little twisted wire rosette. Uh, this is non-tarnish um, titanium toned para wire. Oh, well thanks, Leaf. Then all of our earrings have 301 surgical steel ear wires, so they are safe if you have metal allergies. Here's one of the pairs that were made in our Easy Earrings for Beginner um, prototype live stream, where I was kind of testing out some of the different designs. Hey, Michelle, there are. Um, most everything in these trays, um, like the Starflower, if you search Starflower Pendant um, on my channel, and then all of the other pendants are elf stars that we have tutorials up for. Now these guys are little anodized aluminum scales with a hand-woven Mobius flower, like a little rosette. Hey Fern, how's it going? Do, 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 do. And then if you like those star flowers but want something a little bit more dainty, here we have some black obsidian wrapped into the super cute little star flower design if the camera will focus. There's kind of a lot going on on the screen. 
And I love these because there is a complete star pattern on both sides. Right on, Bev. We actually will not be streaming tomorrow, which is why I'm doing a live stream today. So we kind of, after I go over all the shop update stuff, we're just going to be hanging out. <laughs> hey, Tandies, how's it going? Doo -doo. Oh, I love these ones, that pyrite. But yeah, this was, I think, my second tutorial I ever posted was on how to make these star flowers. And this is probably one of our best-selling earring designs, too, by the way, y'all. So I highly recommend if you're buffing up your... Um, <laughs> yeah, if you're buffing up your inventory for Christmas sales, as we are trying to do around here, um, I highly recommend a lot of these designs are very easy to um, produce and they're pretty well received typically because like with these ones you could have one kind of like square wire and just put a bunch of different styles of beads on it in different colors and shapes and stuff and you can get a bunch of different um, kind of it looks like a, a wide variety of earrings but it's all the same basic style. Uh, we don't have ear cuffs up on the website right now. Um, Hey, Randy, could I ask you to hop up and hit the heater real quick? If I get up, I'm going to get tangled in tripods. Thank you. Oh, no, Jamie, she woke up. Thank you, Randy. Then we also have, for just $5, these super-duper cute little um, teddy bear earrings. Little heart over their hearts. Which I just think is the cutest. Now these are solid copper, so they're kind of heavy. But not like, I mean, they're still quite small. But uh, they do have some substance to them. Ooh, and then these little guys with a nice like milky moonstone. Now while the wire work on these is bare copper, the ear wire is uh, nickel-free surgical steel. Hey Maya, how's it going? And then these guys Randy made out of chain mail, which I, I love this design. It's so cool. It kind of reminds me, I don't know why, but like a little biohazard symbol a little bit. Those ones are in a really pretty goldenrod yellow. Ooh. I like these ones, too. These ones were from my um, most recent tutorial. <laughs> oh, Jamie, that's adorable. <laughs> they do kind of look Celtic, Maya. But yeah, I love these spiral earrings. Then these are the last star flower of this shop update, these tiger's eye. And I tried to kind of coordinate things enough that if y'all find something that you like, um, we have enough that you could like do an earring and necklace kind of matching pair for gift giving. And that's all of our stuff does come gift wrapped and in like little organza bags if it's small enough. Because um, some of our pieces, like our necklaces especially that sold off in the auction, um, were too big to fit into our organza bag once they were gift wrapped. So then we've got these guys. Which kind of, when they're hanging, look like owls a little bit. Very abstract. And then we've just got some real nice, simple little spirals. I can hear the cardinals outside. That's so nice. Do, 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 do. Hey, Bella Ann, how's it going? Right on. Oh, that'd be cool, Maya. And we've... We said it, I don't know how many times, but it weren't saying again, the best thing anybody can do to help us and support our work is to take care of yourselves. Get yourself up on your feet first, get your own business going or, you know, whatever, whatever inspires you, pursue that. Because Randy and I, we'll, we'll do what we do. We're always here for you guys. I really like these ones with those kind of hematite toned anodized aluminum rings. Very sharp. And then up next, these ones are probably the most like elegant, I think, of the earrings that we've updated. They've got a really nice dangle and drape. 
There we go. Right on Maya. I really love those with that milky moonstone. We've got three more pairs and then it's on to the oops, I'm here I am kicking the tripod anyways. And then it's on to the cabs, which I'm super excited about. I love these ones with that like bronzy brown. Really helps it match a whole lot of uh, steampunk stuff too. Is your shop linked? Oh, I sure hope so. Did I not put the shop down in the video description? <laughs> wow, good job, Bella. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. No, I didn't link my shop at all. Wow, wow, wow. Because um, all of this stuff is listed under the jewelry, beads, cabs, and kits um, section. Oh, thank you, Andy. I think that just puts them into our main website. Okay. Thank you, baby. But yeah, and then we've got these silver and black in this thing. Sparky says, wait, today's Monday, right? Why no live stream tomorrow? Randy and I are going camping tomorrow. And the sun sets pretty early in the day. Um, so we were going to go vote and then we were going to go hide in the woods for three days. Um, and we have no idea how long voting is going to take because our state does not have early voting. So everybody's going to be rushing the polls all at once. Um, so we were going to try to get in, get in there, get it done as early as possible and then get on the road, uh, to camping. I'm very excited to go camping. And these, y'all, I think are probably one of my favorite earrings from the entire shop update. We have some black obsidian um, in these beautiful faux hummingbird skulls, which I think are just cool. Excellent. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, Randy and I wear, we are diligent mask wearers when in the public. Mostly because I've got allergies so bad that if I sneezed in public without a mask on, I'd get lynched. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, um, we are camping somewhere in the, oh, Mark Twain National Forest. It's, we haven't been there before, so I don't know much, but, uh, I'm excited. People in our town are perfectly reasonable and civil unless they're tweaking on meth and stab each other. So it's going to be no more dangerous than what it typically is. Like four times. Like this month. <laughs> but there were, two full, there were two full moons. What did we expect? Um, <laughs> okay, so on to cabs. Ooh, shiny. Now, these guys, we have been having just a ton of fun. Wow, Brooke says, I have a six-hour flight tomorrow, and I've missed so many exclusive live streams, so I think Passalon is going to be keeping me company for the flight. All right on, Brooke. Well, I am very happy to retroactively keep you company. <laughs> that we were trying some different color combinations and different things. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. Hey, Amanda, how's it going? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks for bringing it up. Sometimes for a business person, I really drop the ball like 90% of the time. So, um, also, let me guys know, do y'all prefer the live stream format like this or the pre-recorded premieres for our Monday shop updates? Oh, so pretty. That die crow. And I really... I, I feel a little guilty doing like shameless self-promotion shop updates, but truly I need to post videos of a lot of these pieces because um, 
you know, a photo just doesn't do it justice. Like I want to be able to show you guys how the shimmer and shift of the blue to the purple to that like shimmery black. Aw, Nanzilla. <laughs> Is it either? Right on. We might do like a poll or something. Because honestly, I feel like it's a little bit less work on me to do the live stream. Because I don't have to like shoot a video and have it ready beforehand. I can just kind of bumble through. But that's how I feel this week. I might feel differently next week. So we'll see. I'm also this week the videos didn't repay. Yeah. But there have been live streams in the past. Where it's just pixelated as I'll get out. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, Zephyrus. I think it's helping that I'm not moving the camera. <laughs> you know? You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you're reading your cards. <laughs> Is that the rogue deck? or mm -hmm. Any good ones? Mm -hmm. Nice. This one does look a bit like a planet. Like, I love the... The cells and everything. And this is one of them, one of the cabs that I thought would look pretty cool for um, being wrapped into a pumpkin. Laura says, there's my tomato. Oh, no. My thing that looks just like carnelian. I was trying to go for some different, like, agate type effects and stuff, too. Yvonne, can you help me, please? Well, what you need? Also, I'm just going to let you guys know, it really does help if you do the at Yvonne Williams whenever you're asking me questions, because that way it highlights um, your comments in orange, and it helps me to know that you're talking to me and Randy and not just, like, you know, chatting with each other. This is probably one of my absolute favorites from this batch. Now, something on some of these uh, with the nuggets of glass that we used... Um, you're just going to get a little bit of, like, this veining and stuff. I don't know what happened, but we had some, like, weird stuff going on. So that does not buff out. We've even tried grinding and then recooking them uh, through a fire polish, and they still have, like, that surface texture. So, oh, no, Maya. <laughs> oh, really, Stephanie? I haven't even checked. Well, I'm glad it sold, but dang, that's fast. <laughs> Which, just so y'all know, we do um, drop our shop updates at noon. Which resin do you use? Um, I used a UV resin with the PBO paints, but I also highly recommend Art & Glow, uh, Sylvia. Art & Glow is probably one of my favorite all-purpose resins. Great for doming, too. Casting or doming. I really like these guys. Because they just look like, I don't know, delicious little amber, honey-colored amber. Oh, a sea scene. That's cool. What color cabs are we getting for November? I resubbed yesterday. I don't have a single clue, honestly. Um, it's going to be a bit more of a mix match. I, Randy and I had these grand schemes of, like, making, like, picking a color, and that's what we do for that month, but we burn through our colors way more quickly than what we thought. Like, we thought we had gotten, like, six months worth of glass, and then we burnt through it in, like, two months, so we ended up doing, like, three colors each month, so I think it might be just, like, a scheme, like, kind of, yeah, surprise for sure. Ooh, look at that bad boy. I love it. All right, on Maya. My entire leg is asleep. I don't know what's going on. I thought I had answered that. Okay. Well, thank you for typing it out, just in case she's not hearing me. Now these ones, I think. Are pretty when they're just sitting like that but they really come to life when the light cuts through them and that was something that um I really wanted to show off in the videos do, 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 do. shout out to all our lurkers who are just watching hey Verdea how's it going these are another one that they're pretty you know like that but bam and the light cuts through it so pretty. <laughs> I 
and they come to you in their little baggies and we also the more you order the more freebies we sneak in right on oh this is another one of those with the like kind of the ocean scenes it has all that green adventuring speckled through it We number these, Stephanie, like uh, Randy actually went through and did the numbering on these ones. So it's 1P, 2P, 3P. We just pick a different letter every month because like last month, not month, a uh, week, every week we use a different letter. And that way, like we have a couple of cabs left over from previous weeks. And you can see like that one is 18J um, and different stuff like that. And so it just helps us, but we just put them in... <laughs> Uh, our tray, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to 32 down here at the bottom. Um, so that's just that's just how we label them. <laughs> Note to self, 9P, right on. And if you guys pop by the website and 9P is taken already, well, holy crap. <laughs> Um, if you pop by the website and something either says sold out or you just can't find the listing for it at all, it's sold and we've taken the listing down. It just makes it easier for people to shop if there's not a bunch of sold out listings in the way. So that's the goal with this, isn't it? <laughs> right on, Amanda. Hey, Zoot, how's it going? Oh, these are a ton of fun to make. And there's actually a lot of different ways that you could make similar with the color banding and stuff on this. Um with polymer clay and I think I'd like to explore that in future tutorials with y'all like especially with getting those kinds of like additional depths and stuff but aside from like using resin over or just straight resin I don't really know how to get that nice um translucent effect that we get with the solid translucent gloss <laughs> Oh my, that's very sweet of you, but I am going to say I think you should search around a bit more on YouTube. There's some fused, there's a lot of fused artists, uh, fused glass artists out there that put me to shame. They make such beautiful work. <laughs> All right, Anzu, I'm glad he's going to be okay. The color on this one just, oh, it's one of my favorite colors of blue, I think. And then here's another one of our little dichro pieces that I think it is this one in particular was one that I was like, I have to, I don't care how busy we are, I have to get video because it's super coppery and orange from most angles, but it also turns like a really cool green and yellow and blue. <laughs> depending on uh, which angle you look at it from. So, and that was something that I just could not catch in, um, in you know, my limited photography skills using my phone camera. Oh, well, thanks, Jackie. Ooh, and this is one. Let's see. Do, 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 do. We had more requests for these sort of eye style. It has that nice shimmer and stuff in it as well. These were a lot of fun to make and I'd like to make a lot more like that. I can't wait though to see what y'all make with these. And we, we actually, if y'all had signed up for our newsletter uh, in today's email that we sent out, I'm sure y'all noticed that we did not have a featured artisan. <laughs> Uh, we've gotten emails from folks, but it'll be, like, incomplete. So, like, there'll be pictures of stuff, but there won't be any links for us to redirect people to. Or there won't be an artisan bio. So, be sure that if you guys send us, um, and feel free to send us new stuff every week. Like, I am not above featuring the same people. Like, we are here as a marketing resource for you guys. So, if you want to send us a new picture every week of your work, go ahead and send it in. Um, but you've got to send one high quality picture, which is like, um, you know, uh, just get as good a lighting as you can. Make sure it's not blurry. Like, that's the biggest thing um, is to just not have it be blurry. Um, and then uh, a short artist in bio, even if it's just like, like for me, I could do, hey, I'm Yvonne Williams. I'm an artist and educator based out of 
southwestern Missouri. This is my website, my Instagram. You know, like just just a, a little, even if it's just one sentence about, hey, I'm blah blah, and I like cats and jewelry. <laughs> you know, um, so do you use sometimes UV resin? I do. It was just like a super generic UV resin off of Amazon, though. Like if you search UV resin and go and click on like the first thing, that's the UV resin I used. Um, Maya, our cab boxes start at just $10, but we ha only have them available currently to our monthly subscription, um, folks, uh, just because we've been having a hard time meeting the production demands of that, so. Because every new person gets double cabs. Yeah, and that's, next year. also, that, that's a really good point, Randy. Um, <laughs> Randy's over here kind of muttering a little bit about, uh, it's because we've been doing double cabs for all of our new signups, and we're going to keep doing that until the end of December. Um, so as soon as the clock ticks over, January 1st, 2021, we will no longer be, do do be, do doing, uh, be doing double kits for our new signups, just because, man, that's a, I didn't quite know how much I'd bitten off to chew whenever we decided to do that, which I think is typical. You don't need to drink your coffee? I am. Can I start packaging those? If you'd like, um, I, I, um, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. I was going to ask you to pop them into little plastic baggies with their tags, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Ooh, look at that guy. If you wanted to, I wouldn't protest. Like, because I don't want to lose any of the earrings or anything. He's kind of blurry. Ah, right on, Stephanie. And also, y'all can always feel free to go to our curated toolkit where we have links to everything that we use that we would recommend. Because, honest to goodness, y'all, I don't even know if I would recommend uv resin the smell alone is like it's like nail polish times a thousand it's so strong um maybe i can get it to focus again i really love these ones Definitely, definitely, definitely going to have to do more like this. Because I love whenever it does the uh, distortion of the green of entering across the surface. It kind of stretches that shimmer. We use Art and Glow resin. But uh, I don't remember the name of the kind of generic UV resin that I'd used, Sylvia. Ooh, and then this one's a little wonky and weird. I love it. Doo -doo. Ah, uh, right on, Zoop. Huh? Like that? Yeah, that looks good. But uh, do you think I should do that, or do you think I should just do it onto the um, jewelry cards the way I had been doing? For bracelets, it's not really necessary. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Ooh, look at that bad boy. That one looks super cool. <laughs> right on, Maya. Well, I'm hoping we'll have a lot more like these. Um, if I wanted red agate elf star earrings, could you do those? Um, we currently aren't taking any custom orders because we've been slowly liquidating all of our, like, inventory. So I don't actually think I have the red agate in stock to be able to do red agate elf star earrings or even, like, carnelian or even a glass that's that same color. Um, we've been kind of trying so hard to, like, just use up all of the inventory that we've had, like, uh, beads for making things, that, um, that, and I honestly don't know when I'd find the time, but if, if we do open up Custom Works again, y'all will be the first people to know, especially if you signed up for our newsletters. 
Aw, thanks, Amanda. She says, I use UV resin on small projects, but they're just small personal bits and pieces. Right on. Honestly, I'd gotten decent results with the UV resin. I think I was applying it too thickly and not curing it, like, enough. Um, I would have had better results, I think, if I did it in, like, layers. I think this one, if it were wrapped to look like a little cauldron or something, would be so cute. But um, it was just, for me, it was the smell, like, uh, of working with it. Because the room I was working in was very... Um, no, no ventilation. Uh, so, now this is our last dichro, and again, it's another one that just, whoo, that color shift. I live for that blonde green. Hey, Randy, mm -hmm. could I ask you to pop the stuff that's not in English into Google Translate to make sure... Like, I don't even know what language that would be. you just copy paste and put it into the Google Translate to text. Thank you. This is our big boy for this shop update. I really love that red and black. And the black, the camera's not really picking up on it, but that is a black of entering, so it does have a little bit of a shimmer in it, and I really like that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I wrote a night look would look really cool. Okay, and then here we are with another purple. <laughs> oh, you're good, Sylvia. Um, Maya, these start at, I think we had some for like 4 to $5, and we didn't post anything that's over 15 and that's for that big boy. Oops, didn't mean to kick the tripod. Now, we do have a couple of bead sets from last week's shop update that um, are $40, but it's for the entire bead set of uh, Lamport glass beads. I love these little guys. Now again, these are ones that if there's a bit of scuzziness, you can see that actually goes all the way through. That was part of the um, chunked up glass. They just kind of did that all the way down. <laughs> right on, Maya. Sounds like there's a chicken in the driveway. Of course there's a chicken in the driveway. <laughs> and they can just stay there for now, I suppose. <laughs> hey, Ange, how's it going? But yeah, I want to try to figure out how we can get that, like, kind of the selling to happen, the cells of color. Um. <laughs> now, typically, the shipping has been um, pretty standard, whether you buy one thing or whether you buy, like, 15, it's still around the same price. And if there are any complications with it, um, woo! That one's so bright, it throws off the exposure on my camera. <laughs> All right, on Ange. Ooh, another one of the uh, eye style of beads. Do, 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 uh, about 25 for price, I think. Would you say that's accurate, Randy? Mm -hmm. uh, for shipping to Canada? Yeah. <clears throat> it does a little bit. That would be an intense gold sheet and obsidian, but yeah. <laughs> oh, and then I love these guys. That blue and green together. <coughs> Excuse me. Not the Rona, just allergies. 
I'm going to show you all these last two, and then I'm going to go wrangle ch wrangle the chicken out of the driveway. Um, and then we're going to hang out for a little bit. Hey, Pro Pool, how's it going? Ooh, that shimmer. Um, Sylvia, these are made out of glass. So we don't varnish them. Uh, it's we, we we take like glass powder and chunks and um, tiles and combine them together and then melt them in a kiln up to a, a thousand five hundred degrees Fahrenheit for like we take it on a slow build all the way up and then leave it there for about fifteen minutes and then cool them. Uh, at a specific rate that way um they're annealed properly that way you can take them and in nothing it's super durable <laughs> <clears throat> trying to pro pool mama's got bills to pay so <laughs> we're hustling it's the holiday season this one's probably one of my favorites from this batch i love the way that the cells pull together with the glass yeah, my favorite thing about the glass as opposed to, because we used to work so much in resin, um, it doesn't scratch up if your pliers slip, um, <clears throat> it doesn't yellow over time, you can bake it in with your other polymer clay pieces. So there's those guys. And then I'm going to show you all from last week, I'm just going to show you guys the beads that we have. We do ship to France. Um, we do charge shipping, though, and it can be anywhere from ten to twenty-five dollars, depending on where you live in the uh, in the world. Is how much our international rates typically go for. So this is a whole strand of just a bunch of pretty beads. I did not make the fire polished faceted beads. In between, those are just like kind of separators that I took out of my own collection and used in between the beads that I made. But all the big ones I made here in my home on my torch. And I love them. They are so much fun to make. Oh, Propul says, I'm actually making money. Get it, man. <laughs> right on. And then we also have these guys are really beautiful, like honey gold color. That I think would just be gorgeous with some maybe bee themed jewelry. But yeah, so those ones are up for sale. And now, do y'all want to see what I've been working on? Because I think I've talked to you guys a little bit about miniatures. I can't remember, Randy. Did I show them some of the miniatures that I had made? Yeah. Right on. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm fixing to show them again. So let's get this flipped around. And let's get over there into the, um, the forge room. Oof, that chair kills my butt. And please pardon Ken's bulgy package. Um, so we're gonna start picking orders now? Yeah, baby. Thank you for holding off. Okay, so uh, we got our replacement glow forge and it's doing very well. Like, I'm very, very pleased with it. And <laughs> Uh, Randy got me this really cool miniature. Like, where's the box? Like, it's like a coffee time. Like, from, like, Hobby Lobby. And, um, it's a 124 scale. So, um, and I don't know if that means, um, because, like, let's see. I did have a six foot table in here and I was kind of shifting things around, but this is one of the pieces. And of course I cannot follow instructions for the life of me. So I've already modded stuff out. Um, but this is 45 millimeters. 
So I don't know if they mean like one centimeter is a foot or if they mean one inch is a foot, which I've lost my inch ruler. Oh, it's on my, it's here on the table. Um, because if they mean that one quarter inch is a foot, that would mean that this rack is one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half feet tall. So I think they mean one centimeter is a foot, but I don't know about that. But then, y'all, look at his little trays. <laughs> I got the red and black donut. All right, on Katrina. Oh, it's always such a huge compliment with other glass workers buy my glass because it's like, bitch, you can make this. So thank you. <laughs> but like, okay. You can just put the little things on the thing and then I'm done. There's a little corner shelf. This was the first piece I made out of the bat. Y'all, it's so little. Ah! <laughs> And then, whoops, super adorable. I I'd like to do a whole line of videos called My Miniature Homestead, where um, we kind of design tiny buildings, like either 112 or 124 or even 148, like quarter size, where one quarter inch equals a foot um, of like how we'd like to have our dream home and our forever land and like camp craft along. Like we could actually do a little miniature of cramp craft camp craft along. I think that would be just the coolest. Um, a little easel. <laughs> like, ah! And then, um, so I had made, y'all, I'm into miniatures hard right now. Like, I made these drawers, and so now I have a miniature set of drawers to store the things that I, for making miniatures. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> Like, I, I texted my friend Tracy and was like, Tracy, guess what I, guess what my newest hobby is? And she was like, oh Lord, what? And I, I sent her a picture and she was like, I'll pray for you. And I was like, pray harder. I need an exorcist. And she, she LOL'd. It was like easily top social interaction of the week. Um, and then this was just made out of scrap from making this like so this was there's somebody on etsy there's a bunch of people on etsy selling like patterns and this piece right here was the cutout to make the hole to paint the cabinet uh door that opens and closes by the way <laughs> um but i just glued some different pieces together and made like a little desk and then where's the one that oh here's the one that i'm super proud of you guys um made entirely just with scrap pieces so jamie says i just caught up on the previous live stream where you talked about doing the miniatures i think that's so cool oh right on well i'd like to kind of get like how this was a miniature kit for like i feel like 17 dollars at hobby lobby you guys which considering it came with like instructions and all the little bits and pieces and everything's like basically already painted i felt like that was a pretty good like look at this coffee pot that's a dope ass coffee pot <laughs> But, um, I want to make little tiny fairy houses with furniture and stuff, too. So I'd like to level up my fairy house game and kind of make videos and hang out with y'all about stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. I thought this was really neat. And this was made entirely with scrap from, like, these pieces on the back. On the back and then on the bottom were the cutouts for whenever you make a drawer. They were those pieces. So I, I'm saving, you know, like a hoarder, I'm saving all of my scrap and um, I just can't wait to like, I don't know, make like fairy jewelry boxes and all sorts of stuff. Um, but this was made with scrap from that and then I want to show you guys, I don't know if I showed you all this already, but I've started designing. And using air dry clay too, which I'm really excited about because in the past I hadn't really used air dry clay at all. So whenever people would ask, they're like, well, how does this clay work? I'm like, I don't know. I never used it because I wanted stuff that could be used for like outdoor decoration. Whereas with uh, this stuff, I'm definitely keeping it inside and I wanted to be able to use like 
foam board and stuff that I can't necessarily bake. So the air dry clay is going to work out pretty well for that, I think. And then I figured out how to make a reciprocal, reciprocal roof, I think is the term. So I'm going to have to like cut out a bunch of popsicle sticks and like glue them on like boards. So that way it looks pretty from the inside. Because this is, I'm designing a little fairy house yoga studio. So... <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that but we cut out all the little windows on the Glowforge and that's something that all of our designs like not the stuff that we purchased on Etsy because I mean come on um but all of our designs that we develop um we will be putting the digital files so if you wanted to be able to make little windows like that um we're putting the digital files up for them into our uh five dollar craft along club level and up like access for our digital download pages we're gonna have a whole um a whole thing uh, i just lost my train of thought <laughs> like super hard um i'm gonna have a whole section of our digital download content be just for miniatures and crap um <laughs> So yeah, fairy yoga yurt. Um, <laughs> now also, just so y'all know, I'm not having the walls be structured like a yurt because a yurt has that kind of like lattice and everything and then the canvas wraps. This is actually being designed as a monolithic, like if we were to make it out of cob, um, is how I'm trying to like construct it um so they would be load-bearing walls so then because a yurt I don't believe um you can have a living roof on and this was something that for this building I wanted to design it so that the load-bearing walls could support the full weight of a living roof so so there's that um <laughs> but very much the same style as like a yurt or um a roundhouse or you know something like that do, 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 do. Jennifer says some of those cutouts could be used for jewelry items. Yep, exactly. Too, And so there's a lot of overlap actually between the miniature world and jewelry. And um, like the, the only difference in my mind between like a donut, like a miniature 112 scale donut and a donut pendant are I hadn't glued a bale onto that little donut yet. So it's like making dollhouse furniture into jewelry or jewelry into dollhouse furniture are very much um, like friends. Um, Lori, the different roof toppings, <laughs> if that's a way to put it, um, the, the way that you're going to landscape your living roof, I feel like depends very much on your climate where you're at. So um, currently in the area that we're in, we'd need something that holds up well to ice um, and the really long, hot, dry spells that we get. So I would go with like low growing junipers um, is what I would do uh, our roofing and stuff in if we lived here in southwestern Missouri currently. But at um, where Randy and I would like to end up, we think in northern Alabama, I just absolutely love the climate there. Like it, oh, oh, it's so good. Um, so humid, but so good. Um, I don't actually know what we would grow on our living roof there. I don't know if junipers would do very well. Maybe, uh, I don't know. But also it depends on are you very shady or is your roof getting full sun exposure. So for this little fairy house though, if that's what you meant, sorry to not go off on a, like a gardening tangent, I'm just going to glue some moss on it. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I don't know, I think like a low spreading rosemary would be really cool if we lived in northern Alabama because that overwinters pretty well. And gosh, can you imagine if every time it rained your like your roof smelled like rosemary and moss like what a dream like that would be so cool <laughs> if you're in tucson and like miniatures go to the mini time machine museum of miniatures oh april that would be so cool <laughs> right on um do y'all want to make some miniatures i don't know yeah? It's 
get these shipped out today. Yeah. That's one less thing to do tomorrow. That's true. And I still have to pack for the camping trip today. Yep. All right. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to have to kind of cut it short. We've already gone for an hour. Oof. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're going to we're gonna go. We are going to hopefully the shop update goes well. <laughs> thank you to everybody. Whether you've bought something or not, thank you just for hanging out with us. Like, I know I say this every time, but y'all have no idea. Like, just you hanging out with us is like the best thing ever. So, uh, again, no live stream tomorrow, but we will be having our exclusive stream on Saturday to our Craft Along Club members um, and anybody who's still uh, over on Patreon. And then we will also be having a tutorial, I think. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go into that later. Uh, I think we have a tutorial premiere on Sunday. I haven't shot a tutorial yet, but we'll see. Um, but, um, also we're not really posting to the Vonster vlog right now, um, kind of taking a hiatus to really, really focus on hopefully good holiday sales because a good holiday season gets us through January, February, and March. So here's the hope and, and happy crafting y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>